Hi everyone, welcome to the Nacolas Workshop um, and as you saw from the title it's another uh, new machine and what we've got is a, uh, an introduction to um, a sensitive drilling machine. Now this one um, I actually uh, picked up on um, eBay and actually the postage cost me more than the, the whole machine so um, it was quite a good bargain but it is um, it's got a few problems um, and uh, as we regular viewers know I like a bit of a fixer upper so um, let me have a little walk around to let you show you what it is um, so as I'm sure you basically we have a um, a small motor well it's quite a big motor really we've got three pulleys there three pulleys there so we can affect different speeds we've got a set of I'm not sure what they actually technically called. I I want to call them jockey wheels because from the world of cycling, where you have them through your radius to direct the cable. But anyway, it just just allows you to transition a different um, a different angle. So we've got those. We've got the table bed. Um, we've got a rather interesting on-off switch, and because of the long lever, what you can do it, it's quite. Um, well, not at the moment because it's a bit gummy. Um, but it allows you, when you're drilling a small hole, to um, you can really feel whether you, you know, how how the actual drilling process is going, and to so you can back off a little bit if you need to, to to ensure you don't break a, a small drill. Um, so the, as you can see, the actual the chuck comes down. So you you got a, a clamping clamping uh, joint there, which allows you to move the table up to to because you've only got so much travel in the um, in the downward motion of the chuck. Um, so what's wrong with it? Well, <laughs> quite a bit really. Um, it, it looks like it was made from a kit. It's not one of the uh, George Thomas's kits, sadly. Um, and I've got the book that shows you how you uh, how that one works, um, or, or the manufacturing process. And I've also watched uh, many of uh, Metal Mill 52's uh, videos on where he made one. So um, I've got a bit of an idea of how they should work as opposed to how this one works. So, um, what, what I'm really gonna do is, uh, I've got another base to put it on, so I'm gonna screw it all onto there and try and have it a bit like a rolling restoration. So, uh, I don't really want another machine in bits and, and not working. So, um, you know, the motor runs, every, everything's good. The only problem, we've got one, uh, one pulley that's actually broken. Uh, go around there, see if I can show you. That pulley's broken, so we can't use that gear. Um, and a lot of all this is very, I I believe, too much play. But some people may correct me. You know, I've never had one of these before, so I don't really know. Um, but what I did think was because of the the physical size of the uh, the component parts, like these are pretty uh, pretty um, tired, that I should be able to make a lot of these parts on the MCO uh, unit SL. So that should give me a nice project to uh, show you what that can do. Just looking from behind here, so the, these these actually move; they sort of float. Because when you're on the on the on the bigger gear, the bigger um, pulley, um, you will want to um, you, you'll want a wider footprint there, and likewise, because you've got the different height, so we're pretty much straight there. When you're on the lower one, these these pins come out, and it allows this whole shebang to to move down, thus keeping a, a straight line because you don't really want your um, your belt rubbing on on one of the other pulleys. So, it, I mean, it's quite clever in that respect. Um, 
Yeah, yeah. So it's um, uh, it should be an interesting thing to play with. I mean, do I really need it? Probably not, because I think, as I've shown in previous videos, the the Unimat SL will do the probably do equally as well all the drilling um, that uh, I could want to do. Um, I've got the LG Unimat vice, which actually. Uh, lines up with a hole so that would just about fit on there so that's something interesting um, I've been looking in the uh, the engineer or well, engineers black book and I've been looking at gear ratios um, because I think what we'll try and do is try and do some work to replace this pulley well all the pulleys so this one this this one and, the, and the, the two smaller ones to allow um, and, and, and do the calculations sorry I'm getting a bit lost with myself do the calculations um, and we can show that so a little bit of maths to um, get a decent uh, selection of gear uh, ranges now clearly I could just put uh, a motor with a potential geometer on and, and just variable speed it with one one set of pulleys but you know or do anything that's easy this should be uh hopefully more entertaining well it'd definitely be more entertaining for me and hopefully it may be um some interest for you guys um the other thing is i went through it the other day and i just made a list of various things that i think could be improved quite a there's quite a lot there and a lot of them are not really they're nice to have it's not must to haves and some enhancements and, and, and bits and bobs so I think um, there's plenty to do but as I say I want to try and keep it as a rolling restoration so um, uh, yeah so next time well all I'm going to do off camera is get it bolted onto uh, the wooden base so then it's all it's all set up um, and then I can use it when I need to and then we can um, every so often just try and uh, pick, pick a, an item from the to-do list and, um, and make some enhancements so it'll just be an ongoing project to uh, fill in the gaps when I don't have too much going on here in the workshop um, yeah so that's the uh, it's, it's unbranded as far as I, I can see. It'll be interesting if anyone knows, um, uh, is familiar with these castings because um, uh, so we actually knew where they originated from. Uh, these are quite atrocious, the levers, and uh, yeah, definitely uh, Mike over at uh, Metal Mill 52. He's a pretty expert on making some nice ones of those, so I'll be swatting up on these videos, seeing what we can, what we can do to um, emulate what he does. Um, yeah, so that's um, that's about it on the uh, the sensitive drilling machine. Um, so um, yeah, all I can really say is many thanks for. Uh, for watching um, stay happy strong and healthy and I'll see you on the next one cheerio